bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make his boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Amen. Here is the reading of the word of the Lord by God. You may be seated. I just want to lift up from these verses of scripture. The authenticity of worship and praise. My life, help us. The authenticity of worship and praise. Yes, sir. Growing up in the church, you see and are a witness and maybe even accustomed uh, to some things that's inside church. Uh -huh. That's not truly authentic worship. All right. All right. They identify themselves without them even raising their hand. All right. <laughs> because once the music starts, All right. they jump up. Mm -hmm. Let the music stop, mm -hmm. they sit down. Right. I said they identify themselves without you raising your hand. Come on. Mm -hmm. But true authentic worship and praise is not predicated upon a musician. Come on. Right. It is not even based as a segment or a period in the church program. Come on. Right. Because if it was, it would end at benediction. Oh, yes. But true authentic worship and praise it, oh, come God, on, come on. is not only on, even on a Sunday That's or right. on Wednesday. Right. You come don't on. even have to wait till you bring some big shot preacher for come a revival. On. Come on. Come on. But true authentic worship true. and praise is not about anybody else. Come on. It's not even about you. That's right. But it's about God. Come yes. on, preacher. Therefore, therefore, we ought not be restricted nor constrained about a lot of traditional church isms That's that it. allows our worship to be handcuffed. Yes, sir. Mm. Wow. But yep. David says, number one, I will bless the Lord. All right. That's that it. lets me know that true authentic worship and praise is not a command, but it's a choice. Yeah, All right. That's Come it. on. Come on. You have to choose to Come worship. Uh, and then I know that's a fact because then in verse 3 he talks about us All right. together. Yes. But before I can get to verse 3, I first got to deal with myself. Yes, sir. Amen. And so he says, I, I will bless mm -hmm. the Lord at all times. Uh -huh. It's a choice. <laughs> no, not, not predicated on your feelings. Uh, it, it, it has no strings attached. Yes, if that was the case, I would only put blessing praising when I felt good. Come on, all right, all right. I would only bless and praise him when I got a little money in the bank. All right. But even not even that, when I'm not feeling good. Come on. Even when I don't have a check coming, that's it, that's it. I'm still required to praise and worship God. I'm talking about true truth and all that. Not nothing that's just fake. Come on. Yeah. But true authentic praise and worship, David lets me know, number one, it is a choice. Yes, sir. You have to choose to worship in spite of. All right. In spite of some folk around you. Come on. In spite of folks staring at you, looking down at you as you are below uh, the earth. It's in spite of what you have on. Come in on. spite of how you look. Yes, sir. You have to choose to worship. Help us. Uh, I don't care if I walk in here in t-shirt and shorts. Don't you look at me? That's it. Like I didn't come right. here to worship God. Uh -huh. All right. I came. I knew when, when I was coming to church uh -huh. to expect church. Yeah. If I go to a football game, I'm going to expect football to be played, and I'm going to expect the crowd to be up and clap their hands. Yeah. It baffles me when you come to church right and expect church. church and church don't take you right away. Right right I say you gotta choose to worship before you come to this building. Yes, church is not the edifice, <laughs> but it is the right. Yes, sir. Come on. The Greek call it body of baptized believer. I say you gotta choose to. 
David said, I have to make the choice. All right. He lets us know, number First one, time. it is a choice. Yes. Right. Last time I checked, they taught me this when I was at Fort Bend at Georgia. My drill sergeant taught me this word. He said, I'm not commanding you, but it behooves. <laughs> Which means it's in your best interest. Yeah. I'm not telling you, uh -huh. but it's in your best interest uh -huh. to choose to worship God. My God. So I behoove you. Yes, sir. Amen. Help us. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You gotta make the choice. I said. David life tells me from start to finish. Yeah. It's a choice. It's a choice. Some gonna be with you. That's so right. I'm not. All right. You better make choices on your side. Uh -huh. Because on judgment day, you, 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 you can't sin. You can't on judgment day, you can't sin a, a representative on your behalf. All right. right. You gotta speak and stand for yourself. Right. My God. So he makes it a choice. Number two, he lets me know. It's a challenge. Yes, sir. Right. Why is it a challenge, Herb? Yeah, well, if you look and examine David's life, over in 2 Samuel, yes, right around uh, chapter 12, That's it. verse 20, uh -huh. what has happened is that uh, him, David, and Bathsheba were with one another. Uh -huh. Bathsheba is married uh -huh. to uh -huh. Uriah. Yes, sir. Uriah, uh, David sends Uriah to the front of the battle. Yeah. Which he knew he had a great chance to be killed. You in the word. Which Uriah died. Mm -hmm. God uh, uh, sent the prophet Nathan to tell David about himself. Help us. Mm -hmm. It's unexposed sin to keep you hidden and on the deathbed. Right. So you ought to thank God you got some people oh, like my wife that, that will help you expose Satan and sin for who he is. Because as the preacher said this morning, it's all about the family and it's all love. Yeah. All right. And so here you are. Then let me get to my point. God tell, told, tells David, He says, Look at here, David. I forgive you because you repented. But I, I'm still going to take that son that's being born out of uh, Bathsheba. David cried and wept, but for a little while. But in verse 20, a of the second Samuel chapter 12 right. he says he got up off the ground uh -huh. tore off his clothes yeah. washed his clothes I'm sorry and he went to worship God All right. Right. the people around him thought listen here your son just died your uh -huh. son got took and struck by God uh -huh. and you don't you he's not even mourning you not even you not even lingering at all David said that challenges that I have to come up with and face. All but right. in spite of my challenges, yeah. I still have to choose to worship. Yes, sir. I'm talking about the yeah, authenticity yeah. of worship and faith. Not none of that faith takes stuff. Right. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about true worship. true worship. True worship has no strings no attached. That's it. And so David's life, he shows me it's some challenges, circumstances, situations they got your name on it. Yeah. It's up to you if you're gonna if you're gonna be bombarded by a situation and say, God, you know what? I know I prayed you on yesterday and worshiped you, but right now I'm just not in the best mood. I'm gonna put you to the side. Come on. We got the ways to look forward to. That's gonna be your day. <laughs> Come on. Help no, us. it's a choice. That's it. And think about it. If you had to wait. All right. For a Wednesday or a Sunday or a revival to come to worship and praise them, you know how distraught you would be? I'm just talking about true Christians. True. True baptized believers. You know what explosion would occur on the inside of you because you can't release worship? Don't you wait till Sunday morning. Don't you wait till Wednesday. If God has been good to you right now, while you at work on Monday morning, lift up your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. I can't help it. Yes, I can't help it. Yeah, right. That's it. Me but too. to worship and praise God for who He is. That's it. If He never give me another dime, He showed me who He is. That's it. That's it. Save my life. Spare me from a lot of stuff. Yeah. If I don't get another another sin in the bank, yes, sir. I can testify by God's goodness and His mercy. 
True worship. True worship. It's a choice. It is a challenge. And then number three, he said, continually. Yes, sir. Which means to have a skull out, but no benediction. <laughs> right. So why after benediction do on. we not rush up right. until right. the next time we see each other? It's right here in the word. I'm not messing with it. It's right here in the word. All right. He said at all times, and his praises shall not just right now, not just for a second, but uh -huh. continually. Yes. Be, what yes. will make you praise God continually? All right. Lucifer got too big for his riches. Yes. Come on. Pride and rebellion. 